Hello ladies and gents. Back out again. It's been a couple of weeks. And uh, I'm allowed back out. <laughs> I'm going back to a spot that I passed when I did the roundabout camp. A bit close to a motorway, but it uh, be worth a try. And I'm going to sit there for a couple of hours just to get a feel for the place and uh, see how it fares for later on setting up uh, for Betty Bunting time. Hey. Coming off the ground, it's a beautiful day, considering it's September. But we have some nice Septembers. There's dragonflies. Um, nearly as good as your hummingbirds. But no, kingfishers, Mark. Or explorer. Shout out, shout out. I'm here. It's a noisy one, but I don't care. Because that means if there is anyone around, all they'll hear is the traffic, hopefully. The field behind me is more like a meadow. Uh, and it's pretty overgrown. So no one's going to come up there. Uh, and yeah, down there, don't know whether you can see, there's cars going by. That's quite a drop down there. That's another bank. Um, just over here. Where am I? There. Can you see that? Yeah. Motorway bridge. This is a waste bit of land outside of a farmer's boundary. Now whether the farmer owns it or not, I don't know. Uh, or whether it's owned by highways. But, just over the back that way is uh, the roundabout camp I went on. And I passed this going through to the roundabout camp so it looks a bit promising um, it's not brilliant it's it's all right for a hammock um, I wouldn't want to do a bivy here probably because there's a few bits of uh, pigeon kill now whether that's the buzzards uh, that are above the roundabout um, or whether that's fox I don't know but we'll find out tonight um, but yeah I'll show you the old setup it's the uh, DD Tart 3 for 3 It's only the old Cobra Cure. Still ain't got another hammock yet. Jim Bob, tell that man, Knapsacks, to get me a lovely hammock uh, put aside for me. Stop selling them so quick. I want one. And uh, I'll, I'll buy one off of him. good actually um, and I've got a new under blanket that the wife bought me it's only a we'll cheap out. there's a few good reviews on it um, yeah, there's all the specs for it um, Subito I suppose that's how you say it I looked on Amazon the other day I haven't done it before I've only done it today um, because I was coming out tonight on this uh, this camp um, and I wanted to check who actually made it and it's, it says Lixardo so although it's a cheap make I mean I've got a Lixardo wood burning stove and I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with it so yeah we'll see how it goes I'll get it rigged up and then we can take it from there
might get the fire on a little bit early while it's still light, just so I can get some food on. I've got gas, but I want to use that for the morning, so I don't want to fire in the morning. If any of you people out there in bushcraft land or anywhere in the world tried this yet? The State Detective. Uh, he's on Instagram. He's World War II enthusiast. Um, and he makes his own built on. Now I've opened this up already because I bought it the other day. And I know Funky Prepper likes it. Shout out Funky Prepper. Um, I know Funky Prepper likes it. But this... Mm. It's amazing. Amazing. Built on, mate. This is the original Victory flavour. I'm trying to get a bit to show you that's a decent size. <laughs> but I keep eating it. You see that? That is 100% meat, mate. No, no rubbish in this. I bought it up because I knew I'd be snacky today. And I've eaten nothing since breakfast. But yeah, original victory flavour. We'll meet again. You betcha. I'm going to thank you, but even though I have to pay for them. Cheers, Steve. Top tipping, old boy. Chocks away. Yeah, I don't know whether you can see the sun there. I think you can. It's just going to fall below that tree line in about half an hour to an hour, I reckon. So I'm going to start losing a lot more light then. Uh, it won't be too bad, but uh, losing enough to make it go a bit cooler. And also, that'll allow me to uh, to get the fire on as well. I'm starving, hungry, absolutely starving. So quite covered under here, so I'd imagine it will get a bit colder tonight, and the field over there will get cool. So that'll throw some coolness in here. So we'll, we'll see. Hello, what was that? Sounded like someone stood on a bit of twig and going to breach my camp. Nah, no one. Anyway, yeah, so I'll get the old fire on, sit on my ultralight bucket chair, as uh, Gavin says, old bimbles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. And then uh, start winding down for the night, I suppose.
Let's That's better. Got a bit smoky there, didn't it? This is the last thing I want really right now as a fire because it's blooming boiling. Any higher than that, really. Oh, bastard, that bleeding spat at me. Years ago, I used to go to my mate Chris's house, and uh, there was something wrong with his cooker because <laughs> the flames used to lick right up over the pan. He used to set the pan on fire sometimes, but I tell you what, could that boy make egg and bacon sarnies? They were the best. Oh, look at that. That's what I call eat and mess. Most definitely. Going to tuck into that now. Got a bit of aromat on there. Oh, yeah, let's have a look at this, shall we? Mm. Oh, that aromat's lovely. Mm. That will fill me up till nine. along with a jerky I've got. Special jerky. Secret mission stuff. It's a beer free camp. I really like having beers on a solo, if I can help it. I'm just having the fire for the sake of it now. I am absolutely boiling my head off here. Absolutely boiling my head off. And I just want to burn the wood. Because I don't want to scatter it. And it's only, it's only early. It's one of those camps, it's good, but there's nowhere to walk. And nowadays, I do like to have a walk about <laughs> in the dark. I love it, but there's nowhere to go. I've got the motorway this way. I've got the motorway that way. I have just spun around in case you didn't realize. Um, yeah, but I'm just waiting now for the wood to go to an ember, then I'm going to have a cup of uh, hot chocolate, and then I'm going to hit the sack, and listen to the traffic go by, have a chat with a wife for 10 minutes, fuck's sake, a fucking leaf just fell down, hit me on the bleeding barnet.
Wait. All the places to land, it had to land there. Did you see that? Just sat here talking with the missus. And over that way is the motorway bridge. I just happened to hear a door slam. I see this fella getting out. I said to the missus, I've got to go. The fire was down pretty low, luckily. And uh, yeah, it looked like he got out the motor, out the van. And uh, I don't know whether he'd gone for a pee or anything. He was the passenger. And then the next thing, once I've got off the front of the missus, he jumped back in the motor and cleared off. And I've got to go over there later to make sure he ain't seen me and he ain't hiding up. I'll get the machete out. If he wants to jump me, he'll have some of that round his bloody knuckles. That's for sure. <laughs> All good fun, isn't it? Better dig a big hole ready, aren't I? Eh? Have to bury him somewhere up here. Only kidding, officer. Thought I'd bury him. He'd be better off not coming over, wouldn't he? Hello peoples, is that a good look or not? Who gives them monkeys? I'm ugly anyway. Cool, makes me look like I'm a panda or a deputy dog, doesn't it? How about that? Oh yeah, I'm in the hammock. Um, it's been a good night. Solo, solo wild camp. I uh, heard some lots of different noises. It's a new wood, so you're getting used to it again. Uh, you just think it's a possibility of someone coming in, uh, but now nah, it's just trees, snap branches snapping or whatever falling. It's just nature, and the chances of anyone coming to where you are is blooming slim, mate. I tell you, really slim. Feels a bit cold in the old back. I don't know whether that's me or not, um, but I haven't got the sleeping bag under me. Uh, I'm not going to get in it, I'm going to use, it's the upkit Pipe Dream 400, but I'm just going to use it like old Shugmarie does. Um, he's undo it right down, put your feet in the foot box, and uh, just wrap it round you. And you can use the hood as a bit of a pillow. Well, I've got my jacket, my down jacket, so uh, I can use that as well. Anyway, I'm going. No, no, I. Thanks for joining me so far. Ta-da. There's a beautiful sunrise. Coming up over the motorway bridge. Not really pretty, but pretty enough. She's a bubbling. Morning brew, about to be happy.
where the fire was last night and the little log wall I temporarily built out of tree branches that were already cut they're not placed where I found them but whoever did the fence because this is all a newish fence it's about a year old now um, they put them up trees up there but to save time next time I come I've placed them down next to this sycamore tree uh, only for the simple reason they ain't gonna remember where they were whoever comes up there next they'll just see the pile and as it rots down it rots down footpath where I've, obviously where I've been trodden I can't do too much with that it's all down where it should be logs are back fires out heading off out that way That's how close the motorway I am. That's the bridge, I don't know you see it. Ah, <laughs> none of you buggers knew I was there. I forgot to say, didn't I? Hammock camping. I'll tell you what, last night, because I had that under blanket on, um, I was tossing and turning for a little while and then I got to sleep for about an hour and a half and it was the deepest sleep I've had also because I never had a beer last night but I felt so refreshed I, I don't know why I woke up but I felt so refreshed I couldn't go back to sleep straight away I think hammock camping is the way forward for the most part for me if I want to go in and slot in somewhere that I'll come across in the future, I think I'll, uh, I'll do a bivvy or whatnot. I'll always take the bivvy with me just in case I have a bit of a hammock fail because I've always got the sleeping bag and the, and the blow up climate with me. But yeah, hammock camping, thumbs up, absolutely thumbs up. I need a better hammock, um, need to get rid of that COVID cure and just use that as a day hammock um, but yeah looking at a knapsacks uh, hammock um, whether that be the ultra light one or one of their other versions I quite I don't really want to go too long to be honest with you but yeah so yeah thanks for coming along with me um, hope when I put this together you enjoy the video give it a thumbs up give it a like and subscribe shout out to mr burton outdoors who couldn't come today or last night because i he was still in wadhurst um yeah shout out to day tripper as well shout out to mark uh mdm outdoors and uh jim bob uh, outdoors adventures and kit uh, they're the ones i've been out with the most uh, look forward to going out with moria um, in the near future. Take care folks, till the next time, all the breast.